Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in the last video of the uh, five ton rig, we told you we were gonna mount a Titan 775 motor in there and drive an old burned up Castle 2650 censored brushless motor. So uh, I went over here to my uncle's house where he's got a 3D printer and uh, he and I sat down and started drawing up the designs for some motor mounts. So we have the first iteration here. All right, there we go. So we have the first iteration here. Uh, it was kind of just to give us an idea of uh, more or less what we were getting into. Uh, so you can see this is just kind of printed to go into the frame and uh, you know test fit. So we went from this one and tried this here. So we fixed the angle up and actually started making this uh, side piece here. Uh, the angle, you know, this match the uh, arch in the frame, uh, inside the frame rails. So, uh, we tried it and it kept breaking loose. So we called it a night. This has been over several days. So we called it a night on that. And uh, so we went back at it next day. And uh, over that next day and a couple days after, we got this one done. You see how it's arched to match the frame. And uh, the plate itself here is uh, seven millimeters thick. And just because we didn't know how thick it needed to be for strength, but now we realize seven mil is more than plenty for uh, supporting that motor and handling the amount of torque that's going to be going through it. Um, all measurements were done by myself. Uh, Geary had been dealing with uh, his family during this whole time. Uh, so I've been over here by myself doing all this. You know, of course, with my uncle. So we had this one done and we put it in the frame and realized our angle was way off. So if you see the way I have it sitting in the camera now is about how the motor pointed when it was in the frame. It was pointing up, you know, up this way where my finger is and it just wouldn't work with what we had designed. So ran out of the white filament and went to the black filament and made this one. Everything is right. It fits into the truck, into the frame, and the motor mount sits just about perpendicular with the ground, you know, or with the uh, flat part of the frame where the transmission mount is. But we forgot to account for the uh, more or less heat shield around the Titan 775. So in here, this would hit and not allow us to put the motor all the way up against the face. So here is the final product. So for now, I've just got some electronics there for testing. Uh, it's a Castle Sidewinder 8th scale ESC uh, Florian 3S LiPo and the uh, tactic receiver that we've been running in it from the beginning. Um, I haven't actually mounted the motor into the frame yet, but here's how it sits. The motor is almost even in inside the frame. Uh, there's our driveline angle. Uh, there you go, you can see it a little bit better. So there's our driveline angle. It seems kind of steep, but with the CBDs, I haven't noticed any real need to change it. So as you can see, I don't have the motor bolted down yet. So we still have some room for uh, kind of pulling it back a little bit if we need to, or pushing it all the way in. But, uh, so, it's set up in here, I've got the electronics hooked up, I've got the remote right here, and I've already done it once, but here it is. And you see it's, it's driving. So I've got the motor wires reversed. Uh, so it's got a little bit less power going forward, as it were. Um, but yeah, it 
works beautifully. All we've got left is to uh, drill a couple of holes in it here and put some screws in it to actually mount it down. Um, let me see if I can get it up here on the bench, on the piano bench, to kind of give you an idea, you guys an idea of how everything sits. So, there we go. So you can see everything sits just about perfect. Uh, the transmission in the back is hiked up a little bit, but, uh, you know, you can see it's got a little bit of flex in there. A little bit of that is the motor plate itself, or the transmission plate itself. But, uh, the holes we're going to use to mount it are these right here. My phone will behave. And you can kind of see the mount, or the hole we're going to use to mount it right there. Uh, it's going to be pulled back a little bit from where it is. Uh, I mean, not too awful much. But probably about right there is where it'll all sit. Um, we're still in the testing phase. Um, this is the first motor mount we've actually had that fit in the frame the way we liked it. With the angles that we liked. And uh, so from now on it's more or less all downhill in terms of uh, mounting everything. Getting it working the way we need it to. So... Uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the update video. Uh, there will be, uh, be many more to come with this rig. Uh, it's becoming a really fun project. Especially now with the, uh, the addition of having a 3D printer more or less at our disposal to use. So uh, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed already... Feel free to do so. Uh, leave a like if you want. You know, if you like what you see, leave a like. If, uh, if you don't like it, thumbs down. We don't really care. Um, if you have some input, feel free to put it in the comments. We read any that we get because we don't get many right now. But uh, so yeah, guys, there it is.